We are back, Wrestling Mayhem Show, and like everybody's here now. Like literally everybody is here. Uh, uh, we got Dave Ponder with us. We got Tina Keys with us. We got Riz of Riz Plays Games with us. We got uh, uh, George is still with us. Yes. Uh, uh, Mad Mike is here. Hi, Sword. You made it. You feeling better? I am feeling a lot better. I had a headache uh, the size of, I'm going to say, the WrestleMania 32 attendance <laughs> since 3 o'clock. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, by, I came home. Mm -hmm. I, I wrapped an ice pack around my head. I, I ate lots of pasta. I had I had some sodas. I had some other things. Some some painkillers. Are, are, are these all are these all the the House of Mad uh, home remedies that you were trying here? Is that what's happening? Yeah, I, I okay. was literally trying everything that wasn't Vicks and ginger ale. Um, <laughs> that was next on the list. If yes. I didn't start to feel a little bit better, but, but I actually but, feel pretty. But good you flip now. it out so, and you rub the nice. ginger ale on you and you drink the Vicks, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that seems right. <laughs> yes, that seems right. actually, order. actually, just, just they a make a good ball. they make a good cocktail. Just By a little way, ball of Vicks and just swallow it down your throat. You guys are all missing oh, the boat. Right. This is so, Riz from Riz Plays Games. Please do not take any medical advice from the Wrestling Mayhem show. No, absolutely I, not. I will no, say, no, 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 no. I mean, all you got to do is watch my big Vicks fat Greek wedding to know it's Windex. Yes. They do, and it's amazing. They, do. they are intense. They are. Damn it, just, they work. I had one just a little bit ago. <laughs> yeah, they, they work. <sighs> and, of course, as just walked in the door, recent... MLW Major League Wrestling signee, the Beast Man, is here. What is going on? What everybody? is happening? It happened to be in the neighborhood or misread my Facebook messages from earlier. We're not sure yet. Kind of both. Kind <laughs> of, of sword, both. Sword, kind I of think the I both. Know what happened here? Wait, what happened, Mike? I, I think someone just wanted to prove he could try and big time the Mayhem show by showing up late. <laughs> Hashtag big time. Well, did he show up late or did he show up two weeks early? We still haven't in, in, entirely decided that yet. Well, so. <laughs> Well, technically late for tonight, if he thought it was supposed to be tonight. <laughs> That's true, too. That's true, mm -hmm. too. Yeah. <laughs> ha hashtag big time beast, man. Big time I mean, beast, man. At least he didn't big league us. That's for sure. Yeah. That is true. We've had that happen before. Um, yeah, no, I, I, would, I wouldn't say you're big league because that's just disrespectful. Like, I mean, <laughs> yeah, that, anything that's McChesney's gimmick. I know. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 beast, man, how are you doing? I don't have anything prepared for you, question wise. Oh man, but... it's, all good. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, life's good, man. Uh, preparing for this wedding here coming up, going to Jamaica next yeah. week. Whoa! Not, going, and, uh, and, not, and just be clear, not Jamaica, New York. Not Jamaica, New okay, York. No, okay. country Jamaica. Ochi. Okay. I was gonna uh, say, Sable, I'll make so. a trip. Yeah, there you go. Right, come with, come with, <laughs> come, come with, Mike. come on down, come on down. Why not? Come on down. Well, he's preparing for his wedding here in, in less in like what, three weeks, I think. Right? Matt, Mike's getting yeah. married. Yeah, he is. Oh wow! See, I'm, I'm, always, well, I'm the last to know anything. Well, so technically, I've... technically, he already is, but we we haven't yeah, had the. Yeah, I'm uh, technically already here. Yeah. But now, now, now we're getting ready to party. That's right. That's right. It's My gonna man. happen. It's gonna happen. It's gonna be a, an upstate New York shindig. I love it. I'm looking forward mm -hmm. to it. So I did my test. Well, I did my test test drive halfway there this weekend. So, um, <laughs> but uh, but uh, so 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 I, I, I so MLW. You did you do like one show with MLW yeah. so far? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did the Battle Riot back in July. Yeah, we we watched we watched that. We talked about it here on the show um, because uh, because it felt like everybody showed up to that thing. <laughs> so <laughs> it was a party. Yeah, yeah. So kind of like tonight. Um, <laughs> So I, so, I mean, this is a big deal because, you know, people don't know much about MLW. Of course, they've been a big deal, you know, a YouTube show rec more recently. But, I, I mean, they're, they're I think, coming up on their Vice debut. Is that correct? Yeah, they're uh, they're going to debut on Vice TV next Thursday. Next Thursday. Mm -hmm. uh, 10 o'clock, right after Dark Side of the Ring. So 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 we're going to see very, very soon Beast Man in, in prime time. Yep. On 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 our TVs. Yep. Yes, Mike, do you, Mike, do you hear this? Time. Mike, do you get uh, Vice? Um, beast, beast man, I do want to say, um, beware, beware of uh, of El Jefe over there. I will. Um, I, I'm not sure if you're familiar with Lucha Underground. If he offers you a unique opportunity, be very cautious. <laughs> okay. <laughs> be very okay. cautious. I'm I'm still convinced that we have a replicant Rey Mysterio in WWE right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. so real Rey, real, watching the real Rey Mysterio definitely died in a dungeon in uh, Boyle Heights. Is it the same yeah. uh, um, is it the same guy who cloned the fake Ultimate Warrior? Maybe. Yes. <laughs> Something like you know, that. the the the, the wrestling that, that, version of Dr. Mephisto. 
<laughs> you know, that would be a good subject, like a good Sunday talk for us, like in a couple weeks when I actually do show up. Like our favorite wrestling tall tales. You know what I mean? I think that would mm-hmm. be a good topic. Well, you guys had. Did you guys have like the school? Well, I'm gonna. Well, well, man, I'm aging myself here. But did you guys like have like the kids on the playground? Was like, oh, that's not the real Ultimate Warrior. The original one's dead mm-hmm. and stuff like yeah. that. You know? Yeah. Like, like, like you grew I, up. I always thought Renegade was Ultimate Warrior just in WCW. <laughs> there you go. Mm-hmm. There you go. I had a kid who who was convincing me that Randy Orton, or not Randy, Randy Savage was Hulk Hogan's brother. That's Randy Hogan. Yes, Randy Hogan. That's Randy Hogan. (laughs) That's that's Mm -hmm. it. Uh, Mm -hmm. But probably he probably got there based on the fact. That 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 he called him brother all the time. Uh, I was gonna say that's why he called everybody. I mean, brother. that's basically it, right? So. Hey so, Sorg, you read this in the chat room? What's happening People in the chat are room? People want me to chop George. <laughs> yes. No, we're not doing that's that. why we set up the wide camera. We're no, not I doing thought you that. set up the wide camera because I'm wide. So no, no, I just I can't <laughs> zoom this camera because this is an iPhone. <laughs> so uh, we don't need any of that. Weird. So, so what, I, what iPhone is that? Is that twelve? Th- no, no, that's the eight because. I got the 13. So, so okay. Yeah. Is oh. iPhone 13 worth it? <laughs> no, seriously. Because I, I, I think you're. It. Oh, you're 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 way late for that podcast. First of all, that was I, at seven yeah. tonight. So. Was it at seven? <laughs> yes. Oh, so I gotta go back and watch. That, it later, that was so. at seven. So, mm-hmm. uh, well, what do you have now? Is the question. Eight plus. You got an eight plus. That's what I got. Okay. That's what that's what's sitting right there. Yeah. No, that's a big upgrade. Uh, Trust uh, me. Beastman? You're gonna like Beastman? that one. Okay. So uh, yes. I I went from a six to an eleven. Yeah, you yeah. probably get the same shit if you just go to an eleven. I'm just saying. Ah, uh, no, no, no. You want to go to the most recent thing? Listen, the iPhone photography podcast guy <laughs> is going to answer this question. So, Dave Potter of iPhoneography, yeah. go Dave look Potter, it up on tell, iTunes. Show me the way, brother. What is this show even right yeah. now? <laughs> yeah. So, the, the, the thing is, we did, I just did a show last night mm-hmm. talking about the upgrade because I'm still waiting on my 13 Pro. For, that's going to come in in three weeks, mm-hmm. but. We got Ruth's regular 13 non-pro, uh, and she upgraded from a seven, uh, a seven plus. And for photos and video, it is it's a complete and battery, battery just completely amazing. How's the battery life on it? Um, honestly, uh, I, 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 we haven't it. it, it it, the, now I'll let you know if you get the pro, it's even if you get the pro max, the the Gigunda one, this one right here. With that, the, yeah, that one with right the, there with with a terabyte of memory. By the way, holy uh, hell! Yeah, yeah, because um, uh, um, holy it's, crap! Yeah, <laughs> did I you, saw did someone you, do a here, test where they just so had it. Run. Run. <laughs> you got Otter Box, you're fine. Yeah, yeah, sure. But no, I saw someone actually do a test on that, and just they just had it run. And continuously, mm-hmm. and the Pro Max lasted nine hours before uh, it lost battery. I can tell you, and we're not we're not talking light, light use. We're talking like continual mm-hmm. taking battery, running video, you know. So that yeah, you're basically under normal uh, use with a Pro Max. You could probably get two days battery life. I don't think I topped this off since I uh, pulled it out of the box yesterday, uh, but I did not plug it in overnight and had not plugged it in most of the day, and I'm still. Still doing pretty okay. Um, uh, well, I plugged it in probably a couple hours ago before the show. Are, do you still have Cody Rhodes' thing up? <laughs> yeah, I do have Cody Rhodes' picture. Is the last thing. Yeah, that's I was gonna up say. There, so yeah, you still have Cody Rhodes. It's, it's just the last thing that we did on there. Hold you're on, gonna, you're gonna give Riz an aneurysm because he's gonna he's be so like, annoyed. He's just like, but that dog is so adorable. Okay, so what I'm here for. Uh, so. Uh, <laughs> it probably thing about is the Rhodes family. It's the only reason to watch that show, isn't it? The dogs, yeah, that's, that's one. Pharaoh, of, I mean, Pharaoh, and Eddie Kingston. I assume those are the only reasons to come, watch. Come for the dogs and Eddie Kingston. Stay well, for the Ricky drama. Well, Ricky Starks too. Ricky Starks. Oh, well, there we Ricky go. Ricky Starks. Come on, Ricky Starks. I friend, don't know. He, friend, friend of the show, Ricky Starks. By the way. Yeah, I know. No, I know. But like, he was on commentary, and man, kind of just boring. Oh, you need a. He's great on on Dark when he's on there. Uh, I, yeah, I'm a, not, I'm not a, watching. A W Starks, come on, <laughs> come on. I'm not but, watching Dark. I'm geez, sorry, I'm not. I know you're not. I know you're not. You got to make time for MLW here next Thursday. That's true. Exactly. Uh, so there See? it is. There it is. I mean, it is. I mean, is that not? Jeez, like you were already half sold because we're like the 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 the. Living embodiment of Lucha Underground is is basically MLW coming back to television again, and now you got they already listen. And again, I don't know how deep you you are in this. Like 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 Lucha Underground already had time travel. Mm-hmm. 
You're Beast Man. <gasps> yep. Oh my God. The possibilities. Oh God. Can, hook, can you hook up with Aerostar and you're a caveman that he brought back from the past in Sino Man style? Can we please do that? Has that been, hasn't that basically been your life for the last 10 years, though? But I guess. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. No, I mean, but like now it's canon. Now it will be canon. Now it will be televised. That, that a time be... traveler brought you back from ancient prehistory. That's officially times. in a Wikipedia page somewhere, right? So, I mean, it only makes sense. So. <laughs> oh, oh, and the best thing here, here's, all right, here's what we do. Eventually, someone gets you with like a flaming table and you're scared because you've never seen fire before. <laughs> Mike's booking your whole career right now. <laughs> yeah, I'll, suggest, I'll pass those along to creative. There you go. There <laughs> you go. Thank <laughs> God. <laughs> like, Aerostar doesn't have to stay. He just has to bring you in and say, I found this man in the past. Is I think he'd be a good addition to your is roster. Is he signed? <laughs> yeah, is Aerostar, is Aerostar at MLW even? I don't or think we, he I don't is. But... He's just presuming at this point? But Let me see I... here real quick. He just, he just double checking the roster. So, uh, he wasn't at Battle Riot, I don't think so. I don't think no, so. I don't think so. I, I think he, he might have popped up like during I, I, COVID I, tapings I, or I something. I think I've heard of him there yeah. at one point, but not recently. I don't know. That roster is so wild. You know, I don't know how many of the parkas they have. They have three uh, of the park <laughs> LA Park. LA, LA Park. LA Park. Yes. La, hey, what's the plural? What is the the plural of La Parka? Is it, is it La Park I? When you get to that point, mm. so I don't know. I, w- I would assume so. Yeah. So you you want me to read the the uh, roster to you because I got it up right now. <laughs> the whole thing. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> oh. George, is that okay? Might as well. When do you have the look? <laughs> All right. So yes, we George have Shinobi. other than yours truly. You have the heavyweight champion Jacob Fatu, mm. Alexander Hammerstone, L.A. Park. King Murtos, Mil Murtos, I have to get that right. Bobby Fish, Davy Richards, Ross oh, Von Eric, Marshall Von oh. Eric, uh, Mads Kruger, aka Logan Creed, uh, mm-hmm. Tajiri, Myron Reed, TJP, Joseph Samuel, Richard Holiday, Alex Shelley, Calvin Takeman, Tom Lawler, Matt Cross, King Mo, EJ Nakuda, Hero de la Park, that's one of his kids. Rivera, Slice Boogie, Dr. Julius Smokes. Julius Smokes? Yep. Uh, Gino Mendina, uh, Dominic Arini, Kevin Koo, mm. Savio Vega, Matt Cross, Aramis, Irokuo, Kwan, Lee, uh, Erez, L.A. Park Jr. Jesus Christ, there are a lot Jeez. of parks. I told you. Alex Kane, oh. Casey Navarro, Gringo Loco, Senshi, Puma King, Budokoto, Jordan Oliver, and Kid Osborne. So that's a that's a fucking heavy roster. See, yeah, yeah. But, that's, but that's way, knowing that that's there's deep. a chance for a Tajiri versus Beastman match makes me way, want to watch this. You definitely want to make sure <laughs> that be you, awesome. you put some respect on King Mortis. Um, I, by the way, I want to see that match. <laughs> I want to see that match real bad. Like I, I can't tell you guys right now how excited I am about this. This is, uh, <clears throat> I mean. It's like all of us, you know, we try to reach our goals of success. Mm-hmm. Uh, I said two years, I still got it too. It's like I am saved my phone. Uh, I said two years ago on Facebook, if there was any company I would want to go to that I feel like has the best professional wrestling out right now is MLW. Mm-hmm. I have that post. I saved the post and I s- still on my phone. I still believe in it. When I was there back in July, the wrestling was amazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the show itself, the show was amazing. Getting to wrestle at the ECW arena, mm-hmm. uh, main eventing. So I can say I may have had ECW arena. Oh, please. <laughs> I can. <laughs> I technically can, George. Yeah, you can. He's not wrong. Yeah. Yeah. He's not wrong. Yeah. I mean, technically, Lady Frost main evented an NWA pay-per-view. There you go. Technically, yes. That works. So, 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 so yeah. So, the holy crap. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, this is... The, this is huge. Like this, I'm overwhelmed with. It. I'm not like I can't say I'm overwhelmed because like I still feel like I'm the same person. Mm-hmm. Nothing's really changed except my Facebook. My Facebook inbox has been exploding now for the last two days, which mm-hmm. I will get to everybody. I mean, Bill Collier told me to go fuck myself, <laughs> <laughs> but he congratulated me. I I haven't got the reply it, back to him it, yet, in so. the Bill way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not, how, how many go fuck yourselves did you get? Just one. <laughs> just one. Yeah. 
but no, all the support and everything's been great. That's and, great. Like, That's it, great. It uh, it took a while to really like. I mean, the, I got offered the deal back in uh, mid August. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Took a few weeks to really get everything together. Oh yeah, because you know, I mean, it's my first like. I'm not going to sign the first thing I get. No, so, no, no. You, you got to read. You gotta, yeah, I mean, you know enough lawyers in wrestling that can look at that. I know, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, uh, I'm just, uh, I mean, what can I say about my life right now? Life's good. Life is really good. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I can't say that when I saw Bulldozer some 10 years ago that uh, that, that, that I'd be seeing this uh, right now. That's, that's, that's awesome. Sorg, were you there? <laughs> Um, the night at VOW, probably not. Okay, <laughs> I've been to like I was like at three of their shows. Okay, so funny like I this this picture popped up on my Facebook mm-hmm. a couple days ago, mm-hmm. and uh, there, let me fondle C three PO. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There, there's there yeah, there his cod is. piece is right over your uh, uh, yeah, your 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 right shoulder there. <laughs> I gotta so. show you this picture I took Saturday. <laughs> You're gonna. It's this new water ball. I weigh. You, you're, oh. gonna, you're gonna. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, you were saying this picture surface. So this picture surface of a bloody bulldozer with his mask off, mm-hmm. and there, there's this kid that is scared for his life. I remember this vividly because this kid was talking mad shit. I mean, hey bulldozer, you suck. Blah 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 blah. Like how George talks when he mm-hmm. talks to me, he's pissed. <laughs> So uh, that was actually George, wasn't it? Yeah. Aren't you so hands, hands, hands. I, I, I never went to a VOW show <laughs> for the record. I was in law school. So this kid, so I got my mask ripped off by Patrick Case and this and I'm bloodied up. And I'm if, if you go to my Facebook, it's like the third thing down. Uh I just look at this kid and you can see the like wait, 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 wait. Can you explain that for our audio listeners? Oh, sorry. Like, it looked like he either saw the biggest dick he's ever seen in his life, which ain't coming from me for sure, or he just like, or he just looked like he felt, he literally looked like he shot himself because I told him I was going to kill his mom, <laughs> which I did say. So, but that's what the face was. It's um, like picture McCall, uh, a much larger, hairier version of Macaulay Culkin from Home Alone. Yes. To audio listeners. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I want to see if I can find that picture, but uh jeez. Jeez. And you're teaming with Warhorse in a few weeks too. Oh, oh my god, I oh. forgot about that. I, I I didn't get to talk to you after that because oh, is that the picture there? Yeah. Oh, hold that up cuz I don't I actually don't have uh hold that down there. There it is. There you go. See, the kids like hey, you can't see his <laughs> face, but the and the best part about it was like, the kid ran away. He literally ran out of the building after I did that. How many times have you scared kids away? Way too many. Way too many times. Oh, jeez. Uh, you, yeah, you do have a, a tag team. Wait. Yeah, this is the tag team coming up with uh, Warhorse, right? My new best friend, you, Warhorse. You, you bonded with him, and you exchanged wardrobes. Yes. <laughs> I was scared I was going to rip his vest. Yeah, I was scared. You. I was scared, too. So I was on the headset going, oh, no. Oh, that vest is done. <laughs> so work. You're there. Mm-hmm. What do you? What does the indie uh, mayhem show give that match? The uh, the, the beast man versus war horse match. Yeah. Um, that that gives me. Uh, I'm giving you uh, 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 four out of five. Hell yes, I'll out of that, that one. All I'll right, I'll give you that. I'll okay. give you that. We'll see how the tag team one goes. It was uh, a, It was a. It was a. It was a match. It was a fight. So, mm-hmm. I, mean, I felt it for two weeks and. <laughs> So uh, I also learned how excited Warhorse is whenever you mention Chase Gold around him. Uh, that was <laughs> why, why, why Chase Gold? Why not Chase Gold? Because, oh have because you seen Chase him? Gold. Have you seen the Chase seen, before Chase I've Gold seen match? Chase Gold. I uh, have to, anytime he's in the ring, I turn on mute. So I oh. eat, eat, sleep, Chase Gold. Yes, repeat. yes. Listen, dude. I just accepted. You, you, he finally got over the stage where I was annoyed by him yelling Chase Gold all the time. So uh-huh. I finally accepted his friend request on Facebook. But it's so. it's one of those things. It's those things in wrestling where like this is the most annoying thing ever. And then and then like like by the third time you've seen him, you're like. This is the greatest thing ever. It's that thing that happens in wrestling. That annoyance turns into belovedness. So, I, and some, so, so that doesn't things. happen. I'm sure somebody's annoyed at Husk being said all I'm the time. I'm sure, right? It. Hey, like, Husk makes the money for me, so what can I say? <laughs> they, yes. It's that Husk money. Yep, Husk money. Not yes. fuck, it's not fuck money. It's Husk, <laughs> it's husk money. money. Yes, it's true. And, and my Olive Garden is Texas Day Brazil. 
Bring the, wait, wait, what? You can, no, you cannot. Do not. Do not it try is. to put those two on the same plane. Get the hell out of here. Virgil likes Olive Garden. Wait, I like Texas Day Resort. No, when, you're there, there, you're, when you're there, you're there you're, when you're there, are, are you comparison. familiar? What's that? When you're there, are you familiar? I am La Familia, baby. I am okay. I am Picanha <laughs> all day. Picanha is my meat sauce. Uh, so, he, he's actually uh, on a first a name basis though. with the waiters. Yes. Good old, well, no. What? Yes. I am. Where I is am. this place? Texas Station Day Square. Te Dallas Station Square. It, oh, Station Square. It's a, okay. It is a Churrascaria located in Station Square. You yeah. have never been there, Sword. I've never been there. Oh. I'm, I'm less than a mile away from it. I've never been there. Guess what? Guess what? We're going to have to, open up, a, we're gonna have to yeah. open up a free Sunday for before you go down. So. Uh, uh, Mike, what were you saying there? It's lots of meats on sticks. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Is, yes. it, is it from the same kitchen where I got Guy Ferrari's Flavor Town the other day on Grove Hope? Because I, I saw highly that came doubt from it. down there. No. I don't know. There's a ghost kitchen. It looked like it came from Buca de Beppo. So I, I from, from the map. <laughs> so I mean, it's uh, probably it, it was probably in one point at Buca de Beppo. It, oh, and, oh, really? And Guy Fieri just decided to name it Flavor Town. Okay. Okay. Like and I know leave it as a Buca de Beppo. And, yeah. Because well, yeah, I know it's like, and I've heard like like stuff like that. Like these ghost kitchens pop up. There, there's no storefront, but you can get on like delivered on Grubhub or something. This is this is an awesome casting. I know. Hey, why are we talking about food so much? I'm getting hungry. Okay, there's another slice of that pizza here in a moment, probably. Um, but anyways, jeez, I don't. So was 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 that the celebration dinner? It was, it was uh, uh, uh no, it was <laughs> no, not today. It was date night. So for, uh, now we want to, me and Anna went to the uh, Belty Plot tonight. So okay, yeah, yeah, that's, that's why we did just say that, didn't we? Um, wow. Uh, do you guys have any other questions so, for Beastman here while we're here? So Beastman, I got yes. a question. There you go. There you What's go. What's up? Dude? We, we have we have we we have our moments, but which. Do you have like a dream match at MLW that you want? Uh, oh yeah, there's there's a few. I want right off the top of my head, Fatu. Mm -hmm. Definitely mm -hmm. Jacob Fatu. Can't say Calvin Take because I did that in Texas already. Mm -hmm. Would love to do it again. Uh, He's awesome. Tom Lawler, Marshall Von Eric for sure. Any of the Von Erics. I mean, I'm a the. The motherfucker got the claw on me at the bow, right? And that fucking hurt like Yes, hell. yes. <laughs> <laughs> greatest. Tell me that's not the greatest picture of all time, Sword. <laughs> it is. It is. Uh, can't say Lee because Lee's going to AEW. Mm -hmm. um, you, know, like, you never know. Could pass two, you hit, never know like, what can happen. Yeah, that's true. Fought two. The door's uh, open. Yeah, that's true. Fought two. Lawler. Uh, Mil Muertes. L.A. Park. Gringo Loco. Love to have a match with him. Mm-hmm. Uh, Alex Kane, EJ uh, Nakuda. That's the guy I, I want to work with. I'm surprised you haven't said Hammerstone yet. I've already wrestled Hammerstone. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. yeah. I love okay. to do it again on the big stage. Mm -hmm. I finally got to see him in Vegas, actually. Isn't he great? He had a three-way with EC3, and I forget who the third guy was off the top of my head, but I think it was one of their local guys. But yeah, no, he's great. No, Al he's fantastic. Hammerstone's amazing. Yeah, I, I mean, great, like, you know, uh, big old-school bruiser wrestler. Mm -hmm. he's, he's fantastic. He... So. I would uh, like for for me personally, like the one guy I would like to have a match with is EJ Nakuda. He just start. He just came. If you if you watched the bow right, that's the guy that came in, literally knocked my head off and threw me out. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So, be, this motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys know I've been working on trying to like working on trying to lose weight now, which right. I've been. Kind of like on a break, but I need to get back into it. Uh, you had a good year of it, though. I yeah, mean, you, 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 I'm you, doing good. You put a good den in that. Yeah. Uh, so I'm on Facebook. I post. <laughs> I post a hey workout selfie. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm feeling progress. And here comes Aging Akuna in his fucking rock hard six. Like as he's just picturing his thigh and his shorts, six pack, jacked to the gills. I'm like, I'm done. I, 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 it just like I, no matter how hard I work, I can't look like him. I'm mm -hmm. just like I'm done. Yeah. So, <laughs> no, but he's he's an amazing talent. Uh, that's the one you guys need to watch out for. He's going to be a top star there, with probably within the next year. So, but I mean, other than him, like that's the guy I want to work with because I like working with guys like a big, big, tall, a big sweaty men like. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like a, well, I saw some of your series with Congo Kong, right? Yeah. Uh, a, a bit ago, like stuff like that, you know. Yeah, a Shh. big hoss match clubber and fest. And they got those guys there. Yep. That's the great thing, right? It's yep. not a bunch of little, uh, in, with no, all due respect, a bunch of like little flippy indie guys. It's a bunch of hosses yeah. over there. And that's why I'm looking forward to it because MLW for me is my style of wrestling. Mm-hmm. It's that old school ground pound, hard hitting gimmicks, uh, something that fits me because like, I'm a walking gimmick. Yeah. You know, thank God there's. Thankfully, that my character fits what they're doing. Yeah, and I just, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and blow smoke up anybody's ass. I, when it comes to pro wrestling, it's, it's where it's at. MLW, mm-hmm. straight up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And people about to find that out. Yep. Yep. Thursday night, Vice TV, ten o'clock. There you go. There you go. That'd right be after it. Dark Side of the Ring. That's uh, next week, not this week. Right. That's a good next lead week, in yeah. too. That's, that's, and that's, that's, that's and, really and I will be in. trying to watch it in Jamaica. So. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Now Fantastic. I got a question. Now you're talking about Congo Kong real quick. Yeah. George has been, he has uh, refed a couple matches for me at Congo Kong. Mm-hmm. George, you're in the ring with us. What's it like? <laughs> really hard not to laugh. Okay. <laughs> because they're always taking shots at each other. Mm-hmm. Um, a bunch of inside jokes that you have to know the players involved to get. But if you do, it's just it's really really hard. Um, but you which, got sometimes you just got to be a professional and just grin and bear it. And and and, and this is and this is two people who in the ring I think are, are don't speak English, correct? If I recall, yeah. Between the two of you, and then yeah, and then you're just <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> so fantastic. Funny story. He mm-hmm. was there. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. I'll. Say the short, short version. So we're in, uh, we're at Turner's for real, we, this in real shoot back in uh, August. Was it August? Uh, Turner's Hall. August, August. That's Turner's yeah. Hall in Cleveland. One of the last Turner shows. Yeah. I'm working with Kong and I punched him straight in the face. <laughs> punched him right in the fucking face. Yeah. Holy shit. And, uh, yeah, he turns around, boom, got him right in the eye. My knuckle still hurts from that. <laughs> I should tell you how hard I hit him. He just, I'm like, oh, so I he just goes down like this, comes up, smiles, says the N word, and punches me right in the eye <laughs> without hesitation, <laughs> and we just keep going. <laughs> is this before or after you got up on that uh, this precariously a, placed platform underneath the basketball? This was after the scaffolding. So ah. this is this is after this is before Anna. Ch- this is after where Anna shot me. So. <laughs> Jeez. That was not a good. Day. False count anywhere. Yeah, that that <laughs> false count anywhere. It was advertised that, that, that as was false, false count, count anywhere. anywhere. Yes, it was. Well, well, did, <laughs> did, did it become false count anywhere, yeah, or yes, did we just it, yes, ignore it? Did. Okay, okay. <laughs> so I get so I I'm on the ground and like Congo just gets on top of me and George starts counting. I'm like I thought this was a false count anywhere. No, it is. It was Mark. He he doesn't remember. Well. Well, you know, he doesn't have a computer in his cave. No, I don't. But, no. <laughs> I don't use the internet. <laughs> he doesn't have a, a new iPhone yet. So, uh, I uh... think he. I think he has a BlackBerry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of buttons. <laughs> yes, lots of buttons, and they're too. They're too small for his big, big hands. But you know, <laughs> I have a similar uh, problem. <laughs> yes, you're like my girlfriend. She has small hands. <laughs> Here, type this for me. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, fantastic. She's probably right now like, really, Wes? Really? Is she watching? Does she know this probably. is happening right now? Did you say I'm going to Sorg's? Yeah, I say I'm going to go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go invade the Mayhem show for an hour. Jeez. <laughs> She's like, all right, have fun. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I don't think we've had you on since the, the big uh, the big thing went down, right? Yeah, since the, uh, so you, before the engagement, actually. Yeah, yeah. So so not only are you signed, since you're, you are, you are an engaged beast man. I am. To uh, the lovely Anna. Yep. Uh, sorry, so, George. I'm off the market now. But oh, no, sorry, well. buddy. A lot of broken hearts out there. A lot of... Lot of <laughs> Super Oprah was the one with the who, who was very upset about this. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> she was heartbroken. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You've had some good times together we over did, the years. Yes. Absolutely. So, no, that's fantastic. I get, what is, I, mean, I should probably ask this off here, but when is the, the wedding? <laughs> okay. 
So we're planning October of 2023. Okay. So we're going to do it. Of 2023? Yes. Okay. I'm because gonna put the- here's the thing. Okay. I'm still living in West Virginia. Yeah. Okay. We still have our lot. We still have our other, like our own lives. Yeah. And, 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 and she's so. up here in the greater yeah. Pittsburgh area. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Springdale. <laughs> okay. I was going to Springdale. Okay. Now everybody knows. To the folks at home, we're <laughs> thank you. You want to give her, you want to say what part of Springdale she lives by too? I mean, Pillow no, Avenue. No, 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 Pillow, no, 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 Pillow no, 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 Avenue. We're not, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Right. Nobody lives no, no, on no. Pillow Avenue. This, this is no, how yes. people, this is how people get identity theft. So yeah, exactly, like, exactly. Pillow Avenue is way further, further away. <laughs> <laughs> I, and, and I don't think that people know this, but um, you will be marrying into the family where my old rap partner is a part of, yes. who I think you have become good friends with. <laughs> yes, so I, 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 those don't know, I was in a rap group some. Years ago, um, please tell me it was ICP inspired. It was uh, it to was. a point, uh, yes. But I think we did our own thing. Uh, so uh, it's on iTunes. Did it involve chicken hunting? Uh, no, no, oh, okay. no, no. My friends' band did a, did a cover of that, though, a rock cover of that. But um, no, we we did something different. Um, and uh, <laughs> tell us about the show you're on. What, what show we were? I on? I guess you're on BET. No, we weren't on BT. That's what we're he says. on. We're on. Uh, well, well, our friends that well, so we we put wrestling on. You have been on uh, as part of our collections, I believe, uh, uh, over on Grind City, and uh, Buttons over there, who's been on Awesome Cast in recent months. Um, she had a cable access hip hop show. Mm-hmm. So here comes me and and Jeff rolling in, and with us, our 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 big song that we were doing was called Monkey Flings Poop, and uh, we had plungers. And, and we called ourselves crap. Yep. And you can listen to that on iTunes. I, um, I have it on uh, on my um, iTunes. Yes. I, I think it. I think you gave me a CD at one. I point. think that's. Mm-hmm. A, I, think, I have a couple. I think I got a stack of them over in the back too. What was the name so, of y'all's rock group? It was crap. You looking it up? <laughs> was it an yep. acronym? By the way, no, it uh, wasn't. Sorry. <laughs> we should have. We really cash rolls all of Pittsburgh. You missed out. Bang. Uh, yes. Yes. Any, I, I was, any track he wants. Was that Mike? As an intro. Do you? Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying. Is it can't break know. me down? No. No, that's not it. Sorg, I think given that I've just found oh. this out about you, I'm oh. obligated to ask you to drop a rhyme right now. I can't drop a rhyme. No, I can't. <laughs> so re- no. I'm gonna okay. I don't even know. Mad Mike. My, yes. Mad Mike. Yes. I'm yes. gonna I, I'm gonna give you a wrestling question. If you get this right, <laughs> I can get you a CD. You quizzing? <laughs> okay. Okay. I can get you a CD. Okay. What What was it since me and Anna's relationship have been open? Like like everybody knows how we met and everything. So I'm mm-hmm. gonna tell it. So yeah, we told the story on the show. I think last yes. time you were here. What was the thing I said to Sorg that I told him to say to, that I said? To you, Sorg, what was the that I said? Okay. What was the phrase that I said to Sorg that he, Anna did not need to see? Oh, man. I uh, I vaguely remember this, but I can't think of it. We'll give you a hint. It's very in character, it's very on brand. Oh, and I think oh, we referenced come it earlier. On. I know this. The answer I, is. I, the answer is. I've had a headache since three. <laughs> well, you're about, to, well, you're about to get another one. I, uh, I get a, yeah. I get a message. I assume it's something to do with a bone. I know, close. It was a. Uh, I'd give her a good husk. No, I'm sure yeah. I'd give her the husk. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, okay. yeah, okay, yes. By, by the way, She's uh, fucking Tina in the chat room put the right uh, room. Apple Music link for. Yep. For what? Things, I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. What happened? T- Tina <laughs> put the us. iTunes uh, a chat the link in the chat. Oh, you should have put the music video from YouTube. Put it up. Oh, <laughs> no, you put it up. Put it up. Put it up. <laughs> pull it up, Sorg. We pull can't get pulled from it Facebook up. because pull it's it through, my, through my powers as honorary co-host, I deem that Mad Mike should still receive a CD for being such a good sport. <laughs> I, you know what? I, I, can we, let's give him an autograph CD. Sorg, yes. Autograph CD. Yeah. Autograph yeah. copy. Uh, Mike, Mike, that is your wedding present. Is uh... <laughs> Um... I um It'll be autographed by me, Jeff, and uh and Beastman. I I'm not a part of the group, so I can't say No, that. but I, but if we knew each other when we were doing it, you would have been. Okay. Let's be honest about it. You know we had like a, a somebody in a monkey suit. Like literally mm-hmm. as a monkey in the head and you if you've seen the Stoke monkey, that's what that was from. Listen, my so, my dream and, in life is to be the main event mascot. 
just want the, to, you have the main event mascot. I just want to be the lion. You want to be Liddy? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Which you, We're you go. gonna need a bigger suit. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, yeah. I want that to happen now. Yes. <laughs> um, well, just got to get main event signed to MLW now, right? So, mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I, I'm speechless. I, I, you, if I could, I, I'd bring up the music video right now if you really wanted to see it. Yeah, but um, I, but I'm not. I'm not hooked up for that. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm in a different system. Um, but we can insert it maybe later. Uh, but, but you can see it. It's just, just, it's on YouTube. Right. It's on YouTube. It's out there. It's out there. So I like um, how I like how they com they have another album. Like there's another. What was the name of the track song? on here from 2019? Riz, you have your green screen up. Yeah, I know, all, all we really can see it. is I'm the sorry. fact that you play yeah. games, Riz. I know. But like it, it was from 2007, and then there's one from 2019, hmm? which I don't think is your correct. Like, yeah, I don't think I see that on here. Someone no, give no. me the name of the song so I could put it on YouTube. Which song? The song. The money fling, on money fling, monkey flings poo. Monkey, that's monkey the one. flings that's poo. A, monkey yes, flings that's poo. it. And there's a whole series of of video blogs that we did around the around the shows that we did too. Mm -hmm. And also, so, uh, Stoke, yeah. Mon Stoke Monkey ran for office once. Yeah, well, yeah, that was kind of. Later. President of New Jersey. But, yeah. <laughs> okay. Fine. So, weir weirdest venue you ever played as a part of crap. A weirdest. <laughs> weirdest. Oh, uh, we. No, oh, there it is. Yep, there, there it is. is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this track may not be cleared, but it's catchy though. Uh, yeah. It gives me like secret agent movie vibes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, oh, what oh. happened? Oh, no, we can't hear it. He's holding the phone up to the microphone, by the way. So, basically, imagine this. I, we have plungers. So you went to the Guar style of presentation. We threw, we threw toilet paper at the crowd. Ah, instead of Fago. How very presidential. So the reverse Jimmy Rave slash Mandon. Yes, exactly. Huh. That's Jeff. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, good, because good, he didn't get the mine. He got the, the good the good verse. Oh, no, we're That's why back. he always no, went first. No, 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 no. Look, I was, it's I was... all on YouTube for everyone, anyone to find it. Oh, never mind. There's no raccoons, just monkeys and apes. So we obviously had to edit that for TV. Oh, you can't play half the song for TV. I know, I know. It's like that Mad TV bit where you the the episode of Sopranos is two minutes long. <laughs> He's waving his arms. <laughs> okay. That's that's amazing. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's... Uh, it's all downhill from there, by the way. There's some. There's, yeah, that's it's bad. It's. <laughs> I'm looking at this. We had a rock song that was just. It was just about the bar that that Jeff got kicked out of one time in Springdale. Which bar? There's many of them. Uh. Uh. Big. Big. Big dogs. dogs yeah. Exactly, exactly where it is. Literally, the hook is "fuck big dogs." <laughs> <laughs> we're in like East Liverpool. East Liverpool was the best venue because there was a, there was a teen club up there and, and they loved us. Uh, so <laughs> Did you ever play in Charleroi? Char what? There was a venue down in Charleroi uh, I that played, I went to a battle of the bands at. Before, uh, uh, in the Glassport, we pay uh, for sure. Uh, we played on a music festival where Sponge was the headliner. That that does nothing for me. Up in Beaver mm -hmm. County, so I mean they had a, a hit out there somewhere. They had they had a song. They had a song out there, I guess. 
So, um, geez, I can't remember. Uh, there was there was a backyard wrestling slash concert in a backyard that got uh, that the ATF showed up to. Stop. Um, <laughs> Sounds so, like David Koresh was there. <laughs> I think he got muted or something. I don't know what's going on on you, on you, but uh, Beast Man. Yeah, yeah. There, there's a there's a switch on the. I got muted. Yeah, you, you muted yourself. You the the sensors the sensors took over apparently. So uh, it's under it's under the flag. There. All right. Oh, Kate. there he is. There he is. So Sork. yes. Did I tell you? Did I tell you? Oh, you did it again. You did it again. Oh, no. oh, there we go. Bring him back. There you go. You're good. You're All good. Right, we're there. All right. Now just don't, don't slide. Touch right. Don't touch anything. You, you know what my favorite conspiracy theory is in wrestling? <laughs> what is it? And I know this is true. Is it a dark side of the ring coming up it Thursday be. before uh, MLW on it Vice? Could be. We're Andre Giant saying. is still alive. What? Yeah. What? No. He's still alive. No. And he, and he works at Asian Massage Parlor in Rural Beach, <laughs> South Carolina. <laughs> All right, now I that, mean, that's a complete I'm, theory. I'm going to say that's probably No, true. this is true, Mad Mike, and I, mean, I have proof because I've seen it. You've seen it. <laughs> All right. Many people have seen Bigfoot, too. Listen, I know what and, I saw. And many people have seen a Beastman match. Yes. Now, now, wait. How do you know it was Andre? Did he offer you a peanut? Oh, no. I know for a fact this is Andre. So, so a couple years ago, I got out on Royal Beach for vacation. Uh, me and my friends and uh like my back was killing me for like a couple days because of the flight and everything we took down so i'm like i need a massage so looked up on facebook for massage parlors and there was the the yuka massage parlor okay asian massage parlor i'll go in have some never been to one before so i go in this whole this this really hot asian sitting right this like sitting in the chair i'm like today's my lucky day and this lady comes, she's like, what do you want? I'm like, I want a massage. She's like, you a cop? I'm like, no. What? <laughs> yeah, first thing she said to me, I'm a cop. Ask me if I'm a cop. Does this guy look like he's definitely a cop? Yes. Am I, Are you a cop? <laughs> and, and my swimming trunks, flip-flops, and my Hello Kitty t-shirt. Like, <laughs> he could have like, been Farva. <laughs> Are you? No. So He could have been asking for a liter of cola. <laughs> Officer Beastman? Um... <laughs> Anyways, so I think it, I think that would technically have to be Officer Beastman. <laughs> yeah, Beastman. Ah, there you go. <laughs> so yeah, I, I'm giving Dan Murphy a run for his money. You're gonna team up with Officer Colt. So the lady takes me to back. She's like, "All right, take off your clothes, sit down. Somebody be with you a little bit." I think it's the hot Asian, the hot young one in the front. I'm like, "All right, it's a good day, you know." Here comes this like, here comes this one Asian. Here comes this one lady who's old enough to be my great grandmother. Okay. Yeah. She's like, oh, hello. How are you? So I'm naked. I get on the bed. Yes. Uh, she starts rubbing me down. She's like, oh, you big man. She's like, oh, big man, big strong man. They take care of you. I said, okay. So she rubs me down for about 20 minutes. And she flip, so she's like, all right, flip over. And so I flip over. And she proceeds to do the business. So I'm saying this in a way to where that we don't get censored, kicked off the air. The gimmick. Yeah, so she's working the gimmick. We have, we have, a, we have a parental advisory before the right. show. So. so she's working the gimmick. Yes. Uh, it's been about five minutes, you know, ten minutes. Twenty minutes goes by, nothing's going on. So she, sl she just looks at me with lust in her eyes. <laughs> Slowly grabs my hand and says, I'm tired, you finish. Okay. Wait, so, what does this have to do with Andre? Get me fish. Okay. Oh, but um, <laughs> so <laughs> fuck, God damn it, George. So I proceed to uh, I'm playing, I'm working with the gimmick, uh huh. And then she's like rubbing me down. She, and then if you really want to get off really fast, have her give yourself, have her give you a prostate exam. Jeez. Oh, so. What's happening? <laughs> it's happening. What's happening? To so thing? I'm getting a happy ending. Mm -hmm. Okay. So much for gimmick. Volcano, lava all over, falls on her face. She's like, "Oh, so sticky." I all over, went all over her face. It was ectoplasm. Ectoplasm. Okay, so I gotta keep. I gotta hurry up, man. I just said, "What the fuck?" So, <laughs> and just text me. It's like, "WTF?" Is she watching she's right now? Watching right oh, okay. Now. Oh yeah, she she's in the chat room. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> so I get finished up, and so we, she cleans me up. We're done, and <laughs> she gets tired. that was George. 
then, then I get cleaned up. She's like, okay, you owe me $40. Because it was like $20 for a half hour, $40 for an hour. I said, I paid. I only want a half hour massage. She's like, no, you want over your time. I said, no, 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 no. I, I started arguing with Lee. And then all of a sudden, you hear a... <laughs> opens the store. And Andre a Giant is fucking alive. He's like, is there a problem? <laughs> I shit myself. I'm like, no, no problem. She's like, you pay the lady. I took out my wallet. I think I gave her $200. I ran the fuck out of there. Because I did not want to get beat up by Andre Giant. <laughs> I did not want to get beat up by Andre Giant. I, he is alive. He is in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. <laughs> he is working at the Yucca Massage. Bro. He might own the motherfucker. But he is alive. And I s- will never go back there again. I, I was I wanted to ask for an autograph too, but I freaking probably, <laughs> but I get the fuck out of there. So he's alive, George. He's alive. I'm just telling you right now. Whatever he's not dead. He's been alive. He lives in Royal Beach, South Carolina. And he works at the Yucca Massage. Park. Yeah, and Polly Kilbus is gonna stop hugging people. It, that reminds me, I gotta get them in the possum still on the show. You really um, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, RSW October seventeenth. There you go. Crystalline Event Center, four p.m. There you go. Do there it. you go. Throw the plugs out. Uh, hopefully, if Tina's still watching, Is she, she has he, she has headphones in. She's right there. Okay. Yeah, Thank God okay. for earbuds. Thank okay. God for earbuds. I, about to say, I didn't <laughs> see. I, I, did, I lost it, Tina. I didn't see on the. Uh, Oh, uh, on the Zoom, I, so I didn't know if you dropped off or um, you're just listening. I yeah, don't know, I don't know what to do <laughs> <Yeah>. now. <laughs> no, nope, I'm here. <laughs> I have a lot of questions, but I don't want to ask any. Of them. <laughs> no, um, but me for off air, <laughs> me for Patreon. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Huh? I no, 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 no. no. I mean, no. you, you no. would you would have gotten beaten up by a 75 year old man that's like eight feet tall. So. Yeah. I'm fairly sure you could have outrun him. Shit, it's just yelled over your shoulder, can I get a peanut as you're running away? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what if he would have had a snake? I give him a heart oh, attack. Well, I, I mean, had, I mean, he'd have a heart attack if I'd have a snake. Jeez. Jeez. I don't. I don't know. Uh, um. This show has gone MLW off MLW Thursday, next Thursday on Vice TV. You can watch Fightland. <laughs> Jason Fatu versus Alexander Hammerstone. I'm waiting for, and I'm waiting for season four of Dark Side of the Ring where they interview the Beast Man about his encounter with uh, the still alive Andre the Giant. Oh. So, like, like they're gonna do, they're gonna do a dark side ring on Andre as a whole, and they're just gonna be like that credit sequence where all the wacky stuff is. There's just gonna be him sitting there talking about his a shortened and TV appropriate version of that story. <laughs> or, oh, to be or, fair, or they're just gonna take fair, this clip off the internet. I, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, to be, to be fair, uh, uh, it wouldn't be as worse as Tommy Dreamer's experience with Ric Flair. Oh, doing the helicopter deck, <laughs> just playing out there. Mm-hmm. The fact that they used to just turn locker rooms into meatspin.com is, is uh, horrifying. Okay, okay. <laughs> hey, uh, All right. lady, Don't Google that. lady, so, and oh, you got it. Okay. So, okay, you're talking about Dark Side of the Ring. Yes. I'm surprised you didn't ask me about the day. The day, the day the Canyon passed away. The day Canyon committed suicide. Who he was. Oh shit! To that that's day. right. Because you say you wanted to talk about that. Yes. That, I listen. I told you I'm not prepared. Um. So, so the can I didn't watch the Canyon episode. You that came really, early. really good. When your it's story really good. Came. You motherfucker! <laughs> I love that one. So, but okay. So the, so the Canyon. So the Canyon. Everybody's talking about Canyon this last week because of Dark Side of the mm-hmm. Ring. But you actually have a particular Canyon story. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> the day that Canyon died, mm-hmm. he was supposed to be in Uniontown wrestling a, a young f- voluptuous muscular bulldozer bulldozer yes. i was canning i was booked to wrestle canning that day they got died no lie so that was probably one of the most uncomfortable days of my life you there sword yeah i'm here okay it was very it was a very uncomfortable day just like because i'm getting phone calls from like 
the promoter is like, Kenya didn't show up. He missed his flight. He's not coming. I'm like, oh. And then you hear like 20 minutes later, he killed himself. I'm like, geez. Yeah, that's not good. And then people were like cracking jokes at me. It's like, oh, Bulldozer sucks. Kenya did, Kenya did the job on himself so he didn't have to wrestle me. Oof. Bullshit. Oof. Like, shit like that. Jesus. It was, it was a very uncomfortable day for me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and given that half half those guys probably would have been in no position to make those jokes anyway because they were probably hot trash. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, Canyon was like uh, one of the most underrated workers, I'm going to say, of all time. He was. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, th- just he, he was the wrestling trainer for the Ready to Rumble movie. Like, he was yeah. the fight choreographer essentially yeah. for that whole movie. And, and, like just the amount of different kinds of moves he did, like that's the reason fucking Mortis was so fun to play in the uh, in the video games. Because like, Mor- Mortis had like all the craziest moves in mm-hmm. the entire game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was. Uh, I, I it's like hard. To, it's not really hard to talk about anymore because it's been ten years. It's been about eleven years now since it's happened, but it's, it's still just like a very. It's a touchy point because, like, I don't. It, people crack jokes about, oh, you you must have been so bad if Kendo wrestled you. I'm like, it's still, nah, it's not cool. No, it, it, it's an incidental. It was t- yeah. incidental timing. So. And, and like Mike said, Mike, like uh, Kenny was, <laughs> he was an innovator of offense for sure. Like mm-hmm. some of the stuff he did was amazing. Master the flatliner. That oh, if you you ever seen the clip where he jumps like. He does a hard way into the ring and then lands on his feet and does a clothesline. Mm. That's mm, buckshot really lariat. Yeah, oh. it, yeah. Modern, it's a modern day, but yeah, it was a it's a buckshot lariat. Mm. Uh, just a lot of the stuff, like a lot of his life, like hiding the fact that like like this day and age he'd be a hero mm-hmm. to many mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because of coming out. Uh, the Bra- yeah, Dabrowski had a pretty good write up about his his thoughts on that too and how he would be he would be. Yeah, hero for you know coming out early and everything, and 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 you know, and if he stuck with it, you know, could have been an ongoing. You know, Darren Young, I think, was the first one I can think of that was that position in in WWE, right? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. like, if Canyon was on an upper level doing that, like that would have gone a long way, a lot earlier for a lot of people. I feel. Yeah, we so. could have gotten an amazing Canyon Fe match. <laughs> oh, jeez. Mm-hmm. Jeez. Um, but uh, yeah, no, absolutely. So, but uh, yeah, no, I know there, there was a lot of, yeah, there was a lot. I know there's a lot of conversation off of that episode last last week. So, yeah. you know, Father James Mitchell was really good on that. Yeah, yeah James That's Mitchell was amazing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, <sighs> sorry for bringing the flow down. Well, well, now we've hit all the emotional highs and lows on this show. Hey, George, uh, <laughs> you want to see the helicopter? No. No, 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 no. We no, do, we no, do no, have an no, open... No, I don't want an H-bomb either. No, 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 no. no. H-bomb? <laughs> no H-bombs. No H-bomb? No. Okay. Hey guys, what did you... Uh, lady and gentlemen, what did you learn from the Beast Man tonight? <laughs> I don't, I don't I, know what I learned. I learned Beast don't Man get tonight. overcharged yet. <laughs> yeah, don't... Don't deal with Andre the Giant. Yeah. At the... <laughs> ever... Just, just don't have, just don't haggle the price. Just, just, just pay the nice lady after she does her job. Yep, yep. There you go. Her job's well, hard enough as she is. Didn't do the. Job. Sometimes it isn't. <laughs> if I remember correctly, Beastman carried that. <laughs> I, Am I wrong? I, I, I don't gimmick. <laughs> Well, hold on. Is that is that technically working yourself into a shoot? 